I want to talk about systems of linear equations specifically. Okay, linear equations in two variables specifically. So that is um, important to note that they are not only linear but also two variables because it changes when I have more than one uh, more than two variables and it changes if it's nonlinear. So um, there are so obviously two two variables meaning x and y um, systems meaning more than one equation. Um, linear meaning two lines. So let's just say 2x minus y is 3 and y is 5x plus 4. So this is an example of a system of two linear equations and two variables, right? Two variables, two lines, um, and a system. Now there are three methods that we can use to solve these. So three methods to solve. Um, the first method is the graphing method. And the graphing method is the best method when it comes to just visualizing um, what it is that you're technically doing. But, but it is the worst method to use generally because, um, you know, imagine if your solution is like a fraction or something like that. It's very difficult to identify that fraction just graphically, visually. If your graph is not perfect, you'll have to do it algebraically anyway. Um, the two algebraic methods, the first is called substitution method, and the second is called elimination. That was the elimination method. Um, sometimes also called the addition method. And these are not like fancy names. They are exactly what... They, they call it exactly what you do when you use them. Substitution method, I substitute. Elimination method, I'm, you know, eliminating something by adding. That's why they also call it the addition method. Um, so I use the second two the most. Um, I never use the graphing method, but I will show you visually what happens um, when you have two linear equations. You know, what are you doing? When you're solving a linear equation, the solution is, an, is a point that satisfies both equations. Solution is a point of intersection. It's a point of intersection, right? Intersection meaning that point would work in both equations. So I would know if the solution is the solution because when I plug it into both of the equations, it should work. So if I have two lines, you know, what are the three cases that can happen? Well, the first case is I go ahead and I graph the two lines. There's one line, and here's another line, and the two lines intersect, right? Here's my solution, right? They intersect at one point, therefore this has a one solution case, one solution for this particular um, system. We call this a consistent independent system. There is one solution, one point of intersection for the two lines. It is a consistent, independent solution. So this is the first situation that can happen. I can have only one solution. What else can happen with two lines? Well, I can go ahead and graph two lines. Here's one line. Here's another one. And well, that doesn't look great. Here's another one, and they are parallel. I can have parallel lines. Therefore, well, if I have parallel lines, what do I know about parallel lines? They never intersect. Well, if they never intersect, then guess what? There is no solution. There is no point of intersection. There's no point that satisfies both lines. This is an inconsistent system. All right, the third case that can happen, if I graph two lines, is let's say I go graph the first one, and it looks like this. And I go graph the second one, and it looks like this. It lies right on top of the first one. So that means that they are the same line. They're the same line. Maybe they have different equations, but they're the same line. So every point on one line works for the other line. So there are infinite solutions. We call this a consistent dependent system. And these are the only three cases that can happen. I cannot one solution, no solution, or infinite solutions. 
I'm never going to have two, only two. I'm never going to have only three. I'm only going to have one solution, no solution, or infinite solution. So if I have more than one solution, automatically it should be this. Otherwise, it should be only one point of intersection for two lines, okay? Two lines. 